She is so going to kill me. Just a minute. Oh, oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. <laughs> Let's see if Joey has anything else to say about her family. Joey, come here a sec. Yes? Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? I guess. What do you want to know? I don't know. Um, tell me about a case you went on. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but I do remember one. There was this brownstone down in Brooklyn. One of those fancy houses that got converted into apartments. The residents kept complaining of weird noises and bad dreams. Your aunt and I heard about it and went over there. Turns out, these two little boys had been locked in a basement closet over 30 years beforehand. The door was paved over. Nobody knew it was even there. Those two little ghosts had been crying in the dark for 30 years until we came along. That's horrible. Yeah, that, that was a messy one. How did you save them? We did some snooping, found the grandmother, brought her to the house. The boys calmed down and we took care of the rest. So you saved them? Yeah. We had no choice, did we? I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I'll be frank, kid. She may have hated me, but I hated her even more. Hated her. The whole seven months I was with her, she spent the whole time pretending I wasn't there. Can you believe that? You're hard to ignore, Joey. <laughs> Tell me about it. And I did everything I could to get her attention. I'd yell in her ear, I'd get right up in her face. She knew I was there, and I knew she knew. But she just ignored me all the same. Well, you can hardly blame her. Don't lecture me, dollface. I did what I had to. Had to? You could have... Could have done what? Look, I'm done talking about that old bat. Maybe we'll talk more later, but not now. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. All right. In order to get Joey to tell us the rest. Are you coming? Yeah, sure. Have to go out and come back in. We have to do it now. We won't get a chance later. I want to talk to you, Joey. Yeah. Do you remember when that picture was taken? Picture? Yeah, the one on the TV. Oh, the Brooklyn Bridge picture. You don't remember? I was five years old. Right, right. You tend to forget stuff like that when you're... Well, when you're me. So what about the picture? Oh, it was just one of your aunt's little field trips. One of many, I hasten to add. She wanted to take you all over the damn city and I could do nothing but tag along. Really? Yeah. I knew it was a bad idea. Why is that? Just leave it. But... Shut your mouth, kid. You're attracting flies. We'll talk about this later. Maybe. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. Don't you let up. You destroyed her life. Yeah, yeah. I got enough of that from your aunt. Hey! Oh, shut up. You Blackwells and your goddamn self-pity. All I hear is, poor us, poor us. I'm sick of it. Ever think about what it was like for me? One minute I was breathing, and the next, pow, dead. I was a ghost, forced to haunt a complete stranger. I had no idea what was going on. You'd think that someone up there would have told me what to do, but no. I was dead, cold, alone, and scared out of my mind. Nobody could see me. Nobody could hear me. Nobody except old Patty Cakes Blackwell, and she didn't want to admit I was there. 
So don't you dare lecture me, sweetheart. You don't know from nothing. I... Forget it. Let's just concentrate on the case. Why were you at the wedding? Because your aunt insisted on going, and I go where she goes. I could have talked her out of it, but she put her foot down. Tough lady, your aunt, when she needed to be. What were you doing in this picture? Being ignored, as usual. Real strong believer in denial, that woman. Let's talk some more about Auntie Lauren. Like I said, kid, later. We've got stuff to do first. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. Joey! Yeah? Let's talk some more about Auntie Lauren. Like I said, kid, we've got- I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's- It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. And Joey, too, I guess. It's funny. With Joey there, we almost look like a real family. Joey! What is it? Do you remember anything else about that day? It was over 40 years ago, doll. Stupid hair and ugly sweaters, that's all I remember. You don't look very happy in this picture. That's because I wasn't. There was a spirit trapped in an alley down in Chinatown. A little girl, five years old. Lost and confused and needing our help. But did your aunt want to solve the case? No. Going to the wedding was important, she said. More important. Can you imagine? I... don't know. Can you tell me anything else about the wedding? I don't know. There was music. The bride wore white. It was over 30 years ago. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean my memory is perfect. The achievement. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Finally got that one. You coming? Yeah, sure. All right, time to take on the deacon. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. All right, let's do some waltzing. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I got to clear you first. Oh, okay. I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, miss. She's probably sleeping by now. Uh, let's try to go talk to the doctor. Is Dr. Quentin in? He's long gone, miss. You can catch him tomorrow. About Susan Lee. I told you. Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. It will only take a few minutes. Sorry, miss. Rules are rules. Nobody gets in past visiting hours. Nobody. Oh man, what a badass. About Susan Lee. I told you. Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. What? Please, can't I go past? Oh, jeez. I told you. Visiting hours are over, miss. About Susan Lee. <laughs> I told you. Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Look, you'd better let me pass, or... Or what? You'll keep glaring at me? Forget it, miss. Don't threaten me again, or I'll have you escorted out. About Susan Lee. 
I told you. Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Hey, what's that behind you? Just the duty roster. I'm on double shifts this week. Oh, never mind. <laughs> About Susan Lee. I told you. Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Save the best one for last. Uh, you're kind of cute. I'm flattered, miss, but I'm gay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man, it's guard. Can't get past him. Thanks. Hmm. These keys. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. Hmm, seems like Joey messes with the radio. Snatch a key while the guard isn't looking. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. Ah. You may have saw it earlier, maybe not. Here's the fuse box. Let's uh flip this fuse then. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Quickly. Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave, miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. I'll get the elevator for you. Ah, oh, what a nice guy. Let's do that again. Hi, you better. Gotta be quick. Crap, he's invisible. Alright. Oh. How did the door open? The game acts a little weird sometimes. Joey, could you do that little trick what one the more time? What's going on here? Um, thank Let's try that again. Uh, you Go! Quickly! Here he comes. Sucker. She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please! The others are gone. You're the only one! Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No! Get that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't want to. 
You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? Yeah, I believe him. What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? How? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. So, you can either let Joey punch the bejesus out of this guy, or you can let Rosangela kind of calm him down and convince him. That's the way we're going to go, because that's the way with the achievement. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. Either way gets the job done, though. You killed two people. Almost killed a third. Doesn't that mean anything to you? They called me. Why would they call me if they couldn't help me? Yeah, that didn't work. I'm taking over. So, are we going to do this the easy way or the hard way? Please. No. What are you going to do to me? Please don't make it get me. I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> hell, Schmel. You want to stop talking crap? Hey, stop. Let me talk to him, okay? You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. So every time you try something and it doesn't work, Joey will punch him a little bit. Ultimately, if you keep giving it back to Rosa, though, you'll be able to get a peaceful ending. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because of your great experience. This is the way to get him to go, though. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. You were right. I feel... safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. 
It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away! Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please! You brought me here! You have to save me! You have to! Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. Is the devil wearing a thong? This is not happening. Please! You've got to do something! Alright, let's do something. Let's talk to him. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. This is actually kind of on a time limit. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Hmm. Nah. No, you might be right. <laughs> what? She speaks wisdom, worm. You are totally without redemption, and you know it. Collect yourself, for the time draws near. Eh, I'm just messing with him. Let's talk to the demon. Uh, excuse me. Converse. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. Alright. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Hmm, interesting. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it. When I was alive. Hmm. This is the tricky part. Notes. The deacon is carrying his sins. And the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't. Why not? Because... It it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. Look, cobblestone. Examine it, pick it up, or smash! It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace, and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died. They killed themselves because of me. It's all right. No, it's not all right. I didn't know what I was doing. But that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before, 
Maybe I'm okay with that now. Now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe you can still redeem yourself. Maybe. Eventually. But not right now. You see, I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just... glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Ah. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. What an ending. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I maybe helped you out through a puzzle. Probably be doing the rest of the series. Thought it was a pretty good game overall. Not a whole lot of puzzles in it though. Anyway, feel free to stick around for the credits. Maybe there's something after the credits you might be interested in seeing. So. Anyway, that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh until next time.
There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. There's a couple of readings of it. Yeah. I mean, one of them is, huh. You know, I mean, I could say goodbye to all this mm -hmm. and not... I mean, one of them is the fatalistic answer. Yeah. And the other one is, my life has a purpose and I should pursue it. That's, that's one good way of... You know what I mean? Okay. There's there's two ways to read it. I mean, what was, yeah. your, what was your intention? The way I thought of it was like, this is her life from now on. Like, yeah. She can't get away from it. If she does, yeah. she's dead. Basically. Yeah. So um, it's more like she's learning a lesson from her aunt. So yeah. Her aunt, like, tried to take care of her. This is your life. This is your life, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's a nice way of... I never thought of it that way. For me, it's yeah. like, you know what? I mean, she's got a calling. It's a noble calling, and she's a good person. And it's it's a purpose, you know? That's nice. I like that. Okay. Yeah. You know, like, I think it, I think that's good. Right on. I think we could have two readings of it. Absolutely. I like, it. I like that it's a little ambig ambiguous. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can you can read this either as, uh, you know, sort of a dead end or as, you know, the possibility of a new philosophy of life. Lovely. <clears throat> okay. okay. Let's try it again. I don't just do this full time, you know. I like to sing. On the good ship. Lollipop, it's a sweet trip to a candy shop where the bonbons play on the sunny beach of Peppermint Bay. Lemonade stands everywhere across the deck spans. Belly hair, and there you are. Happy landing on a chocolate bar. Yeah. What I'd really like to do is direct.